Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to delete a record from a file using Python. So let's get right into it. So this is going to be a follow-up to how to write and how to read records from files using Python. Click the eye up in the corner for a playlist featuring those videos. As this video is a follow-up, I recommend you watch those first, because it might clarify a few things you might be confused on otherwise. So, let's get into it. So in uh, Visual Studio, you can right-click on your project and click Open Folder in File Explorer. This is going to be where our file is going to be. It's going to be called data.txt and it's going to be located right by our Python file, so we can just reference the name of the file as opposed to a bunch of folders in our file. You can put the file wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct. And this is the structure inside of our file. So it's a CSV format in a text file. This is going to work for any file that supports text. So don't worry that it's a text file, but it's used in CSV. If you did .csv, this would work. And basically we've got uh, a field, then comma, another field, comma, then another field. And each line makes up one record. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to be able to specify a search term, so a value to look for, specify which field it can be found in, and then if a record we, we read matches the criteria, we're then going to delete it from the file. So let's get into how we can do it. So firstly, make sure you import OS because we'll be needing that for this tutorial. Then we have got a function call here called delete record from file. Our first parameter is 21. This is going to be our search term. Then we've got the file. Then we've got the, pos the field this search term can be found in. We start from zero for number one, and then we count up like we would with an array. And then this Boolean means, is the search term located on the last field of a record? And we'll be needing this so we can factor in the new line character that would be in that last field because each record is on its own line. So let's go and define this function. So it's def delete record from file, search term, file path, pos of term, last field. Those are the parameters I just explained. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a try except. So basically if something goes wrong when we're trying to delete a record, instead of crashing the program, we're then we're going to execute what's in the catch or the except and then just carry on. So basically we do try some code, if something goes wrong, executing what's in this except, carry on. And we're just gonna print out the error message. You can do more, but we just want to print out the error message for now. Now, in our try code, we're going to do if last field. And then we do search term equals search term plus new line. So basically, we explained this in the read record from a file tutorial, but since there's a new line character at the end of each record, because each record is on its own line, what we can, what we need to do is, if we, if our search term is in the last field, and we say, let's say, look for 21, it's not going to find it, because even if there is a record of 21 at the end, it will also have a new line character next to it. So we just need to add this into our search term so we can find it. Don't worry, this won't impact any data you read. We just need this for when we search for the file. After that, we are going to do a few lines of code. We're going to do temp file equals temp.txt. Basically, when we delete a record from a file, what we do is we read each line at a time. If that line matches the criteria to be deleted, we don't write it to the new file. However, if it doesn't meet the criteria to be deleted, we write it to the new file. And then what we do at the end is we rename temp.txt to whatever the other file was. But before we do that, we also delete the file we've just been reading. So it gives the illusion of deleting a record when in reality we've written every record we want to keep to a new file and then renamed it. So that's the way you have this temp file. You can call it whatever you want by the way. And then we do with open file path r as file and then we do with open file temp file a as new file. So basically we're going to be opening the file we want to read which is our current file and we want to open it in a read format. However for the file we want to write to, which is our temp file, we need to open that in append mode so we can write data to it. 
And we're going to be using two with statements so we don't have to worry about closing the file once we're done with it, as this will do it automatically. And then what we can do is we can do lines equals file.read lines. So basically, we are going to be reading the entire contents of the original file into an array, and each element of that array will contain one line or one record. And then what we can do, we can do four lines in lines to loop through each record or each element of our lines array. We can then do a new array called fields equals line dot split by comma. Obviously, if you have a different delimiter, put in your other delimiter, but we're using commas. So now we've got each field of a record we are reading in its own little element of an array, so it's really easy to interact with. Then what we do is we do if fields pos of term is not equal to search term, new file dot write line. So this line of code is like write. In this record, does the search term we're looking for exist in the field it should exist in? And if it doesn't, that means this record we're reading isn't the record we want to delete, so we write it to a new file. However, if it did, then we would just not write it to the new file and then carry on with our next record to read. And by the way, all records that match the condition will be deleted. You could use a little boolean to ensure only the first one's deleted, or maybe have multiple criteria if you want to, but this is a simple get you started tutorial. So once we've looped through the entire file, written all the records we want to keep to our new file, what we then do is, so this is going to be after our with statement, so make sure you get the indentation correct, as this is completely separate now from those files that we're interacting with. We need to do os.remove file path. So this is just going to delete the file, the original file that we were reading. And then what we do is we do os.rename temp file to file path. So that temp file will now have the name of the original file we read. And this will give the illusion we've just deleted the record, when in reality we've done so much more. After that, we're just going to do a little print statement to let us know that something happened. And we're going to do removed any records with the search term of search term. Just to, as to have a little print statement. But that's basically it for this tutorial. So we're going to save our work and we are going to delete a record with someone who has the age of 21. And that's going to be found in the last field of a record. So we need to put 21 as our search term. Data.txt is the file path two as the field we can expect to find this in but since it's the last field of a record we need to put a true this is what's in data.txt so this record here 420 blaze 21 is going to be removed so we're going to save our work and hit play and it says removed any records with the search term of 21 so no errors occurred which is good and as you can see, it's gone, which is really good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove something else. We're going to remove uh, someone with the name Bingo. So what we need to do is we need to do Bingo as our search term. It's going to be in field number one, which is the second field. And we need to turn this true into a false because it's not the last field of a record. So we do control S to save and then hit play. And it removed it according to the program, so we're going to check the file now. And as you can see, it's gone. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Thanks for watching.